All right, Level Engine here. So I'm here with a replay of a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I did on Dueling Book about two weeks back. Safe to say, this was one of the more interesting games I found myself in, and still, I have a few unanswered questions as to, like, some of the things that happen in this game. I'll just start playing, like, the replay and let you see. So I lose the rock, paper, scissors to my opponent, who goes first. Which I am perfectly fine with since I'm playing Ren Machu here. This is basically a going second deck. So my opponent was playing Mech Lords. And apparently also playing Synchrons along with that. There's a start of Synchron in his hand. So he starts off with the Nucleus Core to get Mech Lord Assembly. To then add a Mech Lord Monster from deck to hand. And then I definitely feel like I recognize these Mech Lord Monsters from like 10 plus years ago during the Synchro era. I think there are like boss monsters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's anime that their specific gimmick is to hate on synchro monsters by just basically equipping your opponent's synchro monsters to them, negating their effects, and just basically a counter to synchro monsters in general, this archetype. So he destroyed his nucleus core with his own like Mechlord assembly to proc the effect of the nucleus core, which would let him special summon a Mechlord monster from his hand or deck. So, Weissel, and then he also had two more copies of Weissel in his hand. And those can be special summon. And it's not once per turn either, by the way. Those can special summon when a face of monster he controls is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, which all is fine here. Honestly, I found it a little hard to believe at first he had like two copies, two other copies of Weissel in his hand, but the replay does not lie. So I summon the Eater of Millions and then link it off into a Linguish Anima, since there was a Weissel that was going to be like... Well, it, Anima was going to be pointing directly at an Emperor Weissel, so I could just equip it and take it off the board. So he also asks me like how I summon Dogaran. Basically, Kaijus special summon themselves to your opponent's field by tributing one of their monsters. Or, like, if they have one of your kaijus on their field, then you can just special summon one of your other kaijus out of your hand. Yeah, that was the assembly that has an effect that can just destroy a spell or trap card. So it destroyed my equip monster. And then I try Allure of Darkness, and I get to look at one more card, not to just banish Gizmak. And here's where I get into like a brief little argument. So he summons Junk Synchron, he's gonna special summon special summon. He's gonna special summon the Nucleus Core. The Nucleus Infinity Core from the graveyard. And then destroy it with Mechlord Assembly to go and attempt to special summon another Mechlord monster out of the deck. Except with Infinity Core, the monster he summons this way has to be of a different attribute from monsters he already controls. And this is where I just have to stop him, because I was like 99% sure that this was an illegal board he just made here. Yeah, so Junk Synchron is a dark monster, and so is Mechlord Emperor of White Soul Synchro Absorption. Yeah, so this should be an illegal board. At the same time, I was doing some mental gymnastics, asking myself, like, how he could think that this was a legal board. And then he just admits defeat after I just told him like a second time that I was 99% sure this was straight up like an illegal board. So he scoops, goes first again, which I'm perfectly fine with being a going second deck. So he's gonna start off once again with the assembly. Summoning Infinity Core, which he'll promptly destroy with assembly. After adding another copy of assembly with the normal summon. And I chain Dimension Shifter in response to Assembly's activation, so... First, this will resolve making it so that any card sent to the graveyard during his turn and then my next turn will both be banished instead. So then the Assembly resolves and destroys the Infinity Core, which has to now go to the Banished Zone. So Infinity Core's effect can resolve because it was still destroyed by a card effect. So you can Special Summon a Weissel out of the deck, no problem. And then he special summons one from the hand. And then I just double check the summoning condition to actually 
proc that effect, and this is where I have to stop him again. So I remind him the one from the deck he special summoned off Infinity Core is fine, because... The one, the one from the hand can't be summoned, however. The one from deck is fine, because... The core does not need to hit the graveyard, just needs to be destroyed by a card effect, which, in this case, it still was. But the one in hand, no. I'm not even really caring about this guy's argument, because... I can definitely just prove that this is an illegal board. Because cards have to hit the graveyard, and nothing even hit his graveyard this turn. I played Dimension Shifter before anything could, so... There is no way that the White Soul that he summoned from the hand could have been procced. There's no way a card could have been destroyed and sent to the graveyard this turn because his graveyard is empty. Okay, good thing it just talks about destruction from card effect. And this is where I honestly got a little annoyed at this guy. This is an illegal board, and then he tells me you really can't handle this board. I had a Dark Ruler No More in hand. Which I was planning to just activate either way to just make it so that the Weissels on board couldn't just negate any of my other spell card activations. Granted, Dark Ruler No More is a spell card, but it's one that monster effects can't be activated in response to. It wasn't the fact that I couldn't handle the board, it was just the fact that I couldn't handle that this was an illegal board. <laughs> but eventually I decided to just accept the game state and try and just win anyways. Because I have Dark Ruler no more, I could just shut down both of these Weisels here, and then I'm free to just use an Interrupted Kaiju Slum to just clear the board. Or so I thought. He activated a Crossout Designator, and I honestly had to just do a double take here. I thought this was mainly just used, or only could be used to just stop hand traps. So, monster hand traps. But no, it also just works on spells and traps too. This... This was something I wasn't even aware of until I just reread the card. Declare one card name. It doesn't say monster card name, so yeah, he can just negate my Dark Ruler no more. So I just special summon Alpha Master of Beasts, and then decide to just attack into one of his Weissels, because I cannot do much else. I have, like, no Banish Pot to speak of, so Gren's not going to be doing anything really, and there's, like, two Weissels that can just negate my other two spell cards, so I don't want to use those now. So I summon Alpha and attack into Weisel, and here's where I get really confused with this Forbidden Chalice activation that's coming up. So he uses Chalice on my monster to give it an additional 400 attack and to negate its effects, but it's not using any effects to just beat over the Weisel I'm attacking into. And even if he didn't use the Chalice, I would have still been beating it over. It's been like over two weeks and I still have no idea why he activated this chalice. And then it gets even weirder. Get him. This is still, like, this is the point in the game where I became extremely confused with what was going on. Yeah, first there was like two illegal boards he tried to make. And this isn't illegal play, this is just still making me scratch my head as to like why you would do this. Like, this is just a waste of a chalice here. And then, get him. Like, what is get him supposed to mean in this context? So, I beat over his monster, unsurprisingly, and then he just responds with, okay. Waste the battle phase. I'm still clueless as to exactly what this exchange was supposed to accomplish. Both, like, him talking after using the chalice, and of course using the chalice itself to not accomplish anything, like, positive with it. So he uses another assembly to destroy a uh, Nucleus Infinity Core to special summon a uh, Mechlord Emperor Granel out of the deck, which is fine. Didn't have any Earth Monsters before the summon, so this is perfectly okay. And this is on 4,000 attack because it takes on attack and defense equal to half his life points, plus any Synchro Monsters it might have. And then I just wonder why he didn't attack with Granel. And then I actually decide to just reread Weissel again. Forgetting about the part that says other monsters you control cannot declare an attack. So I decided to just guess that he was like also just still confused with why he couldn't attack with Granel and saying Weissel is protecting me. I mean, like, it was already confusing enough with the chalice and then just like the illegal board he made on the first turn. Turns out I just forgot to like read like even more of the card. 
No, I thought, like, Mechlord Emperor Weissel was protecting him because Weissel is literally on his side of the field. But no, he's also protecting me because he's making Grandma not be able to attack. If that makes sense. Activate Alpha's effect to just return monsters to the hand. Well, I target Alpha to return itself, then, like, same number of targets I return to my hand. I return to his. Then special summon this back with its own effect and just beat over the Weissel. He then tries to special summon Granel back to the field after I run over with Alpha, like one of his one of his monsters in battle. So this doesn't work. I have to remind him here this does not work. Thankfully that's cleared up in like five seconds. I was a little worried for a second after like the whole like ordeal with the dimension shifter and the nothing going to the graveyard of special summon Weissel from hand anyways. And then this is where I'm just stuck running over like his random set monsters with Alpha because he can't get on the board. He's running out of gas, but I'm not drawing into gas myself either. So I'm just awkwardly sitting here just running over all the monsters he's setting. Couldn't handle that board, apparently. Here I am now just beating over all his monsters and just looking for like more cards to get on the board so I can just get this game over with quicker. I just want to get out of here after like some of the like weird ass stuff I saw in this game. Yeah, this game was just weird. Like I just wanted to like get out of here as soon as possible. So I was just really hoping to draw into more gas. Even tried to put a Thunderbird on my side of the field, but he discarded it. And then try and just draw into like more gas, but I'm just ending up with like triple tactics talent and stuff like hand traps and floodgates that I really don't need right now. And then I draw into another draw and lock burn, and I'm just like, okay, fuck this. I'm gonna normal summon Grand Maju with only 1200 attack, and hopefully that can just beat over whatever he sets. Hoping it has like less than 1200 defense. Which it did, it had zero. And then I just attack with Alpha, and then I just leave as soon as he admits defeat. Like, I wanted no more of this, I just got the hell out of there. Usually I typically say GG when I, like, I'm finished the match to my opponent. I would just acknowledge them, like, good game. Here, I, I just basically, like, bolted as soon as the match was over. I wanted, like, no more to do with this.